Our journey begins in December of 2019, when the Indian Parliament passed the Citizenship Amendment Act. This controversial piece of legislation aimed to grant citizenship to persecuted minorities from three neighboring countries, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. However, it specifically excluded Muslims, sparking a wave of protests across the country. Fast forward to January 2020, the Supreme Court of India refuses to stay the implementation of the Act. Despite petitions challenging its constitutional validity, the Act remains in effect. By February of the same year, the protests intensify, culminating in the Northeast Delhi riots, one of the deadliest bouts of violence the city had seen in decades. In the ensuing chaos, the world watches as the United Nations Human Rights Council files an intervention application in India's Supreme Court, challenging the Act's constitutionality in March 2020. As we move to July 2021, the Assam government, a state heavily impacted by immigration, proposes a policy to counter Love Jihad, a term used by right-wing groups in India to describe alleged campaigns by Muslim men to convert non-Muslim girls to Islam via false promises of love. Now, let's recap. The Citizenship Amendment Act, passed in December of 2019, ignited widespread controversy and protests due to its exclusion of Muslims. Despite the Supreme Court refusing to stay its implementation, the Act's constitutionality has been challenged both within India and by the United Nations Human Rights Council. The state of Assam has proposed a policy to counter Love Jihad, a term used by right-wing groups in India to describe alleged campaigns by Muslim men to convert non-Muslim girls to Islam via false promises of love. These events have shaped the discourse around citizenship, belonging and identity in contemporary India. The CAA and the reactions it has elicited offer a glimpse into the complexities of these issues. As we continue to watch these events unfold, remember to question, to learn and most importantly, to empathize. After all, at the heart of these debates are people, their lives, their rights and their sense of belonging.